Worldwide, over 400,000 beetle species have been described. This is just one of them. The rosemary beetle. It's a member of the leaf beetle family, or Chrysomelidae. As the name suggests, the rosemary beetle eats rosemary. But it also likes lavender, lemon balm, thyme and sage. This is how it typically looks when a rosemary beetle has taken a bite. This behavior makes them not too popular with gardeners. But I bet they've never noticed how pretty these beetles really are. Just look at this little beauty. The elegant antennae. The shiny elytra. Cute clumsy claws. And these colors. Can you tell I'm in love? He sure thinks she's attractive. Very attractive. And you know what happens when beetles are in love. They want to be really close to each other. Eggs are fertilized. And laid. A female rosemary beetle lays an average of four eggs per night. She usually places them singly on the underside of a leaf. In total, each female lays about 80 eggs. They are small and reddish brown. After about 10 days, the shape and color change. Which means the rosemary beetle larva is ready to hatch. The hatching process takes quite some time, about two hours. Here we go. Once the skin or cuticle is hardened and darkened, the larva will eat most of its nutritious eggshell. Rosemary beetles reproduce from autumn until spring. So that's when you'll have to look for them. Should you want to find these cute little larvae? As the larva gets bigger, it has to shed its cuticle a couple of times to allow for more growth. It's called molting. This too is a dangerous process in which the larva is very vulnerable. So they tend to mold at night in a secluded spot. It takes up to three hours. The larva comes out of its old skin, pale and delicate. But it will start eating again soon. Actually, between resting periods, eating is about all the larva does.
Pretty much. But then, after about three weeks, the lava stops eating. It drops to the ground and buries itself into the soil. To pupate. Like butterflies do, beetles undergo a complete metamorphosis. All the larval structures are broken down and become the structures of an adult beetle. Seventeen days later, the beetle is definitely an adult, but it's soft and not fully coloured yet. It waits in the soil until it's not tenoral anymore. And then... It emerges to hang out. To eat. Enjoy the sun. Or, when bugged, play dead. This is called thanatosis. And when they find a mate, they'll mate to make new rosemary beetles. To replace the older ones.